What is up, everybody? Back with another list here today, and it's a really cool one. I'm going to be counting down my top 50 glam metal albums of all time. Love this subgenre, so it was actually kind of tough for me to get down to 50. Got a lot of honorable mentions I'm going to give at the end, and you know, I've actually got a good chunk of these albums on vinyl, cassette tapes, and CDs that I can show as I go, so that's pretty cool. And one little disclaimer I'm going to give here at the beginning, you know, it's kind of a like, hard line to draw sometimes what you want to consider glam metal or not. Uh, so some bands that are kind of on the edge, and I've seen people say are glam metal at times, but I've never considered them to be that, are going to be Wasp, Van Halen, Damn Yankees, Kingdom Come, Great White, Tesla, Guns N' Roses, Blue Murder, and Badlands. Not eligible for my list. I'm a fan of all those bands, just never really considered them glam metal for whatever reason. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to get my list set up in the right place, and I'm going to get started here with my number 50, which I've got on cassette tape right here, Kicked and Clawed by the band Cats in Boots. Came out in 1989, really cool stuff, good hard rocking, um, just sleazy sound and material here. Shotgun Sally, Nine Lives, Her Monkey, some of the standouts on it. Um, so yeah, really good album. I'm going to go kind of quick through this because 50 albums is a lot. So not going to spend too much time on each album, or at least I'll try not to. But my number 49, I'm going to go with Look What the Cat Dragged In by Poison. Debut album from the band came out in 1986. Sure, you can make fun of Poison if you want, but you know, they've got some good albums, and I think this one is their best. Cry Tough, uh, title track, Talk Dirty uh, talk dirty to Me, some of the standouts. That freaking riff in the title track really good. Kind of heavy, actually, so, you know, I like that album. It's got to be on my list. Number uh, 48, I'm going to go with Bite Down Hard, which I don't have a copy of, by um, Brittany Fox. So this one came out in 1991. It's their third overall was the first with Tommy Paris on vocals and rhythm guitar, who I like him definitely better than the first guy they had, but I like all all three of those first three uh, albums there. But uh, this one, definitely my favorite. Six Guns Loaded and Louder are the definite standout tracks on it, in my opinion. Just really good stuff. Uh, number 47, I'm going to go with Cool From The Wire by Dirty Looks. Came out in 1988. Uh, really good album here. Pretty solid from top to bottom, but some of the standout tracks, I'd say, are the title track, um, it's not the way you rock, can't uh, take my eyes off you, really the whole first side, Oh Ruby, Tokyo, some of my favorites, but again, top to bottom, this is a solid album. Uh, 46 we're at, got this one on vinyl, Things You've Never Done Before by Rocks Gang, cool band from Florida, um, solid stuff here, you know, the standout track on it for sure is No Easy Way Out, just amazing from freaking start to finish, the riff is awesome. The guitar melodies, the solo is fantastic. Just, uh, yeah. If you're going to listen to one song from this album, if you don't know it, No Easy Way Out. It's got a cool music video as well, so go check that out. Um, number 45, I'm going to go with the Steelheart self-titled debut from 1991. Mil Janko on vocals is freaking fantastic. One of the best singers in this freaking genre, really, of all time. Um, the guitar tone and playing on this album is awesome. Can't Stop Me Loving You is great. That riff. So good. Um, like Never Before, Sheila, Gimme Gimme, some of the standouts that I've got written down. But uh, top to bottom, it's a really solid album. Number 44, I'm going to go with Stick It To Ya by Slaughter. So this one came out in 1990. And it was actually double platinum, uh, probably due to Fly To The Angels being such a, like a big uh, kind of mainstream hit. But, you know, Mark Slaughter, some people have complained about his voice, but I think he's got a freaking awesome voice. Eye to Eye is a really good hard rocking song to open it up. Burning Bridges, Up All Night's another pretty big hit from this album. Uh, Mad About You and Loaded Gun have been my favorites from this. Always been my favorites, but really good album there. Um, number 43, I'm going to go with Psycho Cafe by Bang Tango. Came out in 1989, debut album from the band. Really good, unique sounding stuff. You know, you can hear the bass really well in this. Kind of gives it like a funk like element like type to it, but... Good stuff. Um, Attack of Life is really good. Someone Like You, of course, is the most popular song from this album. And for good reason. Amazing riff, just top to bottom. Great song. Um, Sweet Little Razor is awesome. Breaking Up a Heart of Stone. So really good stuff here. Next up at number 42 is Surprise Attack by Tora Tora. The debut album from this band came out in 1989. Great vocals on this. Um, some standout tracks are Love's a Bitch, 28 Days, Hard Times, Walking Shoes, Riverside Drive. So... Really cool album there. Number 41, I'm going to go with Heaven's Edge, self-titled debut from 1990. Uh, you know, this is a great album. I did actually see it in the store the other day, but it was 18 bucks. So I was like, you know what? Got to put this back. Not going to spend 18 bucks on it, but uh, probably should have. Uh, Play Dirty is a great song. Skin to Skin, Up Against the Wall, Hold On to Tonight, Can't Catch Me, Bad Reputation. Uh, great vocals. Again, with this one, you know, 
awesome like harmonizing uh, vocals in this uh, with this album and this band. So that is my number 41. Number 40, I'm going to go with Heart of the City by the band Ivory Tower. It came out in 1988. Really cool, uh, kind of underrated, obscure stuff here. But, you know, amazing guitar playing all over this album. Looking at the key tracks I've got written down. Ready to Roll, title track, Break the Chain, some of the standouts. So give that a listen if you like classic glam metal because it's great. Number uh, four or number 39 we're at is going to be Pride by White Line. You got freaking water damage there. But Vito Brada, one of the absolute best of all time on guitar. Hungry is a great song to open it up. Fantastic riff. Lonely Nights, Lady of the Valley are some of my favorites on here. But it's a really, really good album. Number 38, I'm going to go with Love Sells by the band The Bang Gang. So, again, kind of obscure stuff here. It came out in 1990. Uh, looking at these tracks, Pedal to the Metal and Young and the Restless are what I'd recommend. Just great guitar playing, uh, really nice melodies and riffs on this stuff. The vocal melodies, vocals are great overall. Just a uh, really good band and album. Number 37, I'm going to go with Babylon AD, self-titled debut album from 1989. Uh, great stuff. Again, with this band, you know, the freaking vocal harmonizations and uh, freaking gang vocal stuff they do and the choruses and all that is fantastic. Kind of similar to Def Leppard type stuff. Bang Go the Bells, Hammer Swings Down, Caught Up in the Crossfire, The Kid Goes Wild, uh, Mary Ann, all that stuff is great. Number 36, I'm going to go with Don't Cry Wolf by London. Nadir DePriest on vocals is fantastic. Great singer. Um, some standout tracks on this one. Drop the Bomb, Fast as Light. Lizzie Gray on guitar is great. Um, 35, got Firehouse's debut. Uh, really good stuff. Came out in 1990. This one actually did go platinum or double platinum as well as uh, another album I talked about earlier. But this is really good stuff. Bill Leverty on guitar, one of my favorite guitarists of all time. CJ Snare has a really good voice. Some standout tracks on this one Rock on the Radio, All She Wrote, Helpless. But a uh, really good album. Number 34, I'm going to go with I Am The Night by Pantera. So yes, Pantera, they did have a glam metal phase there in the uh, mid-80s, early mid-80s. Terry Glaze on vocals on their fir uh, first three albums. Really good stuff in my opinion. You know, people like to act like it didn't exist for some reason, but there's a lot of good stuff on those albums. Hot and Heavy, the title track, Down Below, Right on the Edge, Valhalla. Um, the last song, Forever Tonight, is fantastic. Just uh, really like this album, so definitely on the list. Number 33, I, I did think I had this album on, like, something, on CD or whatever, but apparently I don't. It's Girls, Girls, Girls by Motley Crue. Great album, Dancing on Glass, super cool underrated song. Wild Side, one of their best of all time. Bad Boy Boogie, such a good kind of bluesy type song. Amazing riff. Mick Mars, his guitar tone on this album, I love. Um, and just, you know, everybody on, in the band was on fire at that point, so it's got to be on the list. Number 32, I'm going to go with Metal Health from 1983. You know, this was the first metal album to get to number one on the Billboard 200. You know, some people might not consider it to be glam metal, but I'm considering it here. My list, um, you know, great stuff here. Bang Your Head, Metal Health is a great song. Um, Breathless, Run For Cover, some really, really good stuff there. Carlos Cavazzo on guitar is fantastic. Kevin Dubro on vocals was a good, unique voice. Um, so that was number 32. Number 31, I'm going to go with Cherry Pie. Second album from Warrant, came out in 1990. Janie Lane on vocals was really great. Uh, looking at these songs, title track, a little annoying at this point, but it is still a good song. Uncle Tom's Cabin, by far my favorite on this album. Amazing, amazing song, great riff, kind of heavy, actually. Um, Mr. Rainmaker, another really, really good standout from there. So to the top 30 we're uh, moving into. So with that, I'm going to go with the Bone Nasty first album, debut, self-titled. So, you know... Actually, it's called Dirty But Well-Dressed. It's not self-titled. So Dirty But Well-Dressed, um, 89 here. I think this was their only album. Shake It. There's really good vocals on here. Shake It, Goodbye Rosie, Gemini, Love Potion Number 9. Some of the standouts on that album, but uh, really good stuff. Number 29, I'm going to go with the Joker self-titled debut album. These guys had two albums, I think. Yeah, this was their first. Came out in 1990. Really good, underrated stuff. Um, the vocals sound a little bit like Axl Rose, but... You know, a little different than that. Uh, just really good stuff. I Want Love, Say Yeah, Party for Your Life are some of the standouts on here. Great guitar playing. Just really good riffs and melodies and solos all over it. So go check that out. Um, number 28, I'm going to go with Blow My Fuse uh, by Kix. So this one came out in 1988. This is my favorite album by them. Red Light, Green Light, TNT is awesome. Get It While It's Hot, No Ring Around Rosie. 
uh, Don't Close Your Eyes, the ballad on here. You know, I actually kind of like that song. She Dropped Me the Bomb, Cold Blood, so a lot of good stuff. Um, I did meet their singer, Steve Whiteman, back in 2015 when I saw them. He was a cool guy. So uh, great band, great album. Uh, number 27, I've actually got this one on vinyl I'm going to pick up. So with this, you know, it's a band that a lot of their stuff I really not really consider to be glam metal, but at this point, I think they were glam metal. And that's going to be Kiss. So the glam metal phase of Kiss, and this is actually my favorite Kiss album, so it's got to be on the list. Asylum, 1985. See on the back there, they definitely got the look down. But uh, King of the Mountain is one of the absolute best Kiss songs of all time, in my, in my opinion. I'm Alive, another great hard rock and standout track on here. Um, Tears Are Falling is one of my favorite songs. That's kind of like a bigger hit from them. It's really good. Uh, great chorus in that song. Uh, yeah, really good album here, top to bottom. Bruce Kulick, or yeah, Bruce Kulick on guitar is a freaking shred machine. So yeah, good stuff there. Um, number 26, I'm going to go with The Final Countdown by Europe. Now, their first two albums, you know, people would consider them, them to be like more of a old school classic traditional metal album or metal albums and then they kind of shifted to more of a glam metal type thing on here which people kind of hate on sometimes but you know it's still a good hard rocking album a lot of good songs on here um title track i actually like quite a bit rock the night danger on the track so a lot of good stuff here and it's actually if you've seen the movie hot rod with andy sandberg they use like half of this album in the soundtrack which is hilarious and cool but uh yeah joey tempest on vocals is great john norham amazing classic guitar shredder so I don't, don't really see what's not to love on this album. That is my number 26. So number 25, I'm going to go with All Systems Go by Vinnie Vincent Invasion. So Vinnie Vincent, after he left Kiss, formed this band. This is the second and final album by them. Mark Slaughter does the vocals on this, who's great. Vinnie Vincent is a freaking shred machine again here. Ashes to Ashes, Dirty Rhythm, That Time of Year, Let Freedom Rock, some of the standouts on it. Um, up to number 24, I'm going to go with Second Coming by Shotgun Messiah. The second album from them came out in 1991. Harry K. Cody on guitar, another freaking shred machine beast. Uh, there's a lot of them within glam metal. That is like the main attraction, in my opinion, to this genre is all the great guitar players. So Harry K. Cody shredding it up on this album. Um, Sex, Drugs, Rock and Roll is a great song to open it up. Um, Heartbreak Boulevard, Red Hot, some of the standouts. But uh, top to bottom, it's a really good solid album. I'm going to get a sip of water here because it's a lot of talking to do. But uh, continuing onward, we got number 23, Dangerous Toys, the uh, self-titled debut from this band. And, you know, this one's actually pretty hard rocking and heavy at times. Uh, you got a guy in the back here wearing a death shirt. You got Jason McMaster, who is the vocalist of this band, was previously in Watchtower. He's in a ton of bands, but um, Tease and Pleasing to open it up is great. Scared, Bones in the Gutter. Outlaw, one of my favorite songs on here. Here Comes Trouble is another great one. So this is just a really good, really, really great album, actually. So got that there from 1989 at number 23. Number 22, I'm going to go with Long Cold Winter by Cinderella, the band on my shirt. 1988, their uh, second album. Love the lineup. Got Tom Kiefer on vocals and guitar, who's fantastic. Jeff Labar, Eric Brittingham, uh, the drummer's name, Fred Corey. And so we got Bad Streams for some blues falling apart at the seams to open it up, which is fantastic. Gypsy Road, The Last Mile is awesome. Second Wind's a good, fast, hard rocker. Long Cold Winter title track, dude. That's like their bluesiest song of all time. It's really cool. Fire and Ice is another great one on here. So it's a fantastic album. 21, I'm going to go with Cocked and Loaded from LA Guns. Their second album came out in 1989. Tracy Guns on guitar, fantastic. Phil Lewis on vocals is great. Uh, Slap in the Face, possibly my favorite song of theirs of all time. The second track on here, Rip and Tear, Never Enough, Malaria. Uh, really just freaking top to bottom. There's a lot of great songs on here. So that's my number 22 it was. Number, actually that was number 21. So shit, you gotta stay in order. Stay in order here. But number 20, number 20, I'm gonna go, I got this on freaking CD bullet boys and on cassette tape so you know this is a great album um i did just see bullet boys back a couple weeks ago they put on a, a pretty decent show you know it wasn't the best thing i've ever seen but this album here is freaking amazing their debut hard as a rock smooth up in ya um shoot the preacher down is great for the love of money is a good cover badlands i love crank me up so uh, a lot of great stuff there 
number 19 we're at. So that's going to be Power Tool by the band Sleaze Bees. Their third album came out in 1992. Really cool band from the Netherlands that I dig quite a bit. Um, all their albums are good, but this one is my favorite. Uh, Raise a Little Hell is a great song. Watch that video. Dance. Pray for a Miracle. I think that's the final song on the album. It's fantastic. Uh, number 18, I'm going to go with another one from Pantera. That's going to be Projects in the Jungle. You know, I used to say I Am the Night is a better album, but over time, I've i uh, kind of grown to like this one more. It's really good stuff. Got the guys there on the back. Um, Dimebag Daryl was like 18 or 20 or somewhere around there. This came out in 84. He was Okay, so he was like 18 years old. He was born in 66. But uh, a lot of great stuff here. He shreds all over the album. Got a great classic glam metal feel to this. All over tonight. Out for Blood. Like Fire is a great song. Taking My Life. Killers. You know, definitely go listen to this if you've blown off Glam Metal Pantera because there's a lot of good material there. Um, number 17 we're at is going to be Invasion of Your Privacy by Rat. Love this album. Love this band. Um, Freaking Warren D. Martini on guitar. It's one of my favorites of all time. Him and Robin Crosby, such a great duo. Stephen Piercy, good, unique voice. You're in love to open it up, dude. Amazing riff. Um, but, you know, Lay It Down, actually, that's one of the best opening riffs of all time. Uh, give It All is amazing. Uh, what You Give is What You Get is another standout track on here, but top to bottom, really good, solid stuff. Number 16, I'm going to go with Fight to Survive, the debut album from White Lion. So that's a double appearance by White Lion on the list. Vito Brada, amazing again here. And this album's kind of got like a dark feel to it. Um, probably, definitely my favorite album by them. And a lot of great songs on here. Broken Heart, I'd probably say has the best Vito Brada guitar solo of all time, so... Go check that out. The title track is great. Where Do We Run? All Burn in Hell, El Salvador, some of the standouts. Um, number 15, I'm going to go with the Hawk uh, self-titled album. It's their only album. Uh, really good stuff here. It came out in, there's different sources, but I think it came out in 86. One thing said 85, but I'm pretty sure it's 86. Tell the Truth, Fade So Fast. Uh, some of the standout tracks on here. Doug Marks on guitar, such great tone, amazing, melodic, fantastic player. Uh, Matt Sorum actually did the drumming on this, who later went on to be in Guns N' Roses a bit later. Um, number 14 we're at, so we're in the top 15, getting close to the top there. But number 14 is going to be Shout at the Devil, Motley Crue, 1983. Awesome stuff. Um, Freaking Mick Mars is fantastic on this album. Really, the whole band is. Um, the title track, one of my favorites of theirs of all time. Looks that like Kill, Bastard. Uh... Red Hot, Too Young to Fall in Love, Knock em Dead Kid, Danger, which Danger's a good song. It's the last one on the album, pretty overlooked. Just a great album here, definitely a must-have on a list like this. Shout at the Devil. Uh, number 13, I'm going to go with Dancing Undercover, which I've got... Oh, man, I forgot to show freaking Invasion of Your Privacy. I got it on vinyl, too. But I actually like Dancing Undercover a little bit better. I've got this one on vinyl right here. Came out in 1986, I've got it on cassette tape. So uh, with this album, you know, great stuff. Dance to open it up is a good song. Uh, Body Talk is one of their best of all time. Really good, almost like thrash metal feel to that one. Slip of the Lip is fantastic. Um, really, all this stuff is great. Rat is easily one of the absolute best in this subgenre. So you're going to see those two albums so far. You might see another one of theirs in a minute. But um, So we're at number 12 here. It's going to be No Respect by the band Vane. Came out in 1989. Davey Vane on vocals. Good, unique voice. I uh, just love this band's sound. Secrets, Beat the Bullet, Who's Watching You, A Thousand Degrees, Down for the Third Time. Best songs on it, in my opinion. Just top to bottom, really good, solid stuff. Number 11, I'm going to go with the uh, Winger self-titled debut album from 1988. Got Red, Be uh, Red Beach's signature right there. Uh, freaking Shred Monster Beast on guitar. Madeleine. Uh, Hungry's great. The t uh, sorry, 17. I was going to say uh, title track for that because 17 is such a popular song for it for some reason. But uh, 17, great song. Not the title track, but um, amazing solo in that song. <clears throat> um, State of Emergency is great. Time to Surrender, maybe my favorite song on this album. Kip Winger, freaking uh, great songwriter. And, you know, Winger is a great band. Number 10, so top 10, I've got this one on cassette tape, Spread Eagle, self-titled debut from 1980 or 1990, it came out, 19, not 1989, 1990, Broken City, Back on the Bitch, Sw uh, Switchblade Serenade, Shotgun Sally's amazing, um, Scratch Like a Cat's a great one that has a cool music video, 
There's also a music video for uh, Swift Blade Serenade, which I mentioned, but really good, freaking sleazy. They call it biker metal sometimes, but really good classic stuff that I think fits in here. It's on the heavier side of this, but uh, go check it out for sure if you don't know them. Uh, number nine, I'm going to go, which I have on vinyl and cassette tape. It's going to be Tooth and Nail. So Dokken, 1984, their second album. And you know, I think, I don't know if this is like the original cassette tape cover or what, but I got that there. George Lynch, freaking beast. One of my favorite guitar players of all time. Don Dokken, love his voice. Really good melodic stuff. Jeff Pilson on the bass is a beast. Just a great player. And uh, Mick, Brown, uh, Mick Brown on the drums. So with that warning into the title track is an amazing way to open up the album, Tooth and Nail, you know, title track, probably my favorite song by them of all time. Ridiculous guitar playing on that from George Lynch. Heartless Heart's a great one. Don't Close Your Eyes. When Heaven Comes Down, Into the Fire, uh, Turn on the Action. Freaking amazing album here. And that is my number nine. Number eight, I'm going to go with Under the Influence by Wildside. Unfortunately, don't have a copy of this one, but it is the debut album from this band. Came out in 1992. Really awesome stuff, um, you know, hard rock and stuff too. Again, one of the kind of heavier albums on this list, Hang On Lucy, So Far Away, Hair of the Dog, which is not a Nazareth cover, it's their own song, Hair of the Dog, Heart and Soul, Clock Strikes, a really good, consistent, solid album from top to bottom. Um, number seven, <clears throat> again, got this one on two formats, got it on CD and on vinyl, which I'm trying to pick up down here, Back for the Attack, so vinyl, CD. Uh, just to re reiterate everything I just said about freaking Tooth and Nail. Amazing guitar playing from George. Pick this shit up in the right way. Don sounds amazing on this. Uh, the rest of the guys in the band sound great. But, you know, Kiss of Death, Prisoner, Night by Night. I say Kiss of Death, that's one of the best George Lynch guitar solos of all time. Great stuff. Cry of the Gypsy, that's got another great solo. Dream Warriors is amazing from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Mr. Scary is a great freaking guitar onslaught song from George Lynch, so... Really good album here. Number six, song, or the album on my shirt, Night Songs. Amazing stuff. Uh, so Cinderella making their second appearance here. Uh, title track is great. Shake Me, Nobody's Fool, Nothing for Nothing. Really, I could list all these songs, but I'd probably say Somebody Save Me is my favorite. Back Home Again to close it out. It's freaking a great hard rock and heavy song. So uh, yeah, definitely must be on the list. Gonna go with the uh, Skid Row self-titled debut album next at number five. Oh, shit, I forgot to show. I got freaking Back for the Attack on freaking cassette tape two, three formats. But okay, so Skid Row, Sebastian Bach, one of the best singers of all time. Love the guitar playing on this. Whole band's on fire. Big Guns, to Open It Up is amazing. Sweet Little Sister, uh, Piece of Me is a great song. I gotta say though, my favorite on here is probably Midnight Tornado, the final track. Great underrated stuff. 18 in Life. You've Gone Wild's a great one, too, so got a crack in the CD there, but great, great, great album there. So top five. Um, number four, I'm going to go, or that was number five, but number four, I'm going to go with uh, L.A. Guns, self-titled debut, 1988. Again, Tracy Guns is amazing. Phil Lewis, love his vocals. A lot of great stuff here. No Mercy, just freaking ripping guitar song. Uh, if you listen to Tracy Guns on there, he's ripping it up. Sex Action is amazing, um, Electric Gypsy, Bitches Back, Shoot for Thrills, top to bottom, amazing, amazing album. Uh, number three, I'm going to go with the 1987 White Snake album, self-titled. Got John Sykes on guitar, um, David Coverdale on vocals is fantastic. Um, looking at some of these songs, top to bottom, it's amazing, but Crying in the Rain's great, Bad Boy, Still the Night, that's always been one of my favorite songs of all time, honestly, love the, you know, I don't know if it's like a cello or whatever that is, kind of like after it gets quiet for a minute and it comes in and it transitions into the John Sykes guitar solo, but that just whole, that whole song's amazing, especially that part, um, Give Me All Your Love, love that one as well, Is This Love is a pretty good ballad, Children of the Night, dude, such an amazing opening riff, but uh, yeah, for sure, amazing album here. Number two, I've got this one on, uh, I know I've got it on vinyl somewhere as well, but I've got the uh, cassette tape and the CD ready to show. It's going to be Under Lock and Key, my number two favorite docking album. And, you know, I was, at first I was like going to do a two album limit on this, but I was like, you know, I can't like punish bands for having a lot of good albums. So got three appearances from Dokken, well-deserved, definitely, in my opinion, the best glam metal band. 
Unchained the Night to open it up. It's a fantastic song. The Hunter, In My Dreams. Such a great riff and solo from George Lynch. It's Not Love is great. Lightning Strikes Again, great heavy song. Till the Living End's a great one. Really the whole freaking album. Will the Sunrise is another like really good underrated song on there. So that's the number two. And my number one, as I've said multiple times in the past, is... My favorite debut metal album, I'd say, of all time. My favorite glam metal album of all time. And that is Out of the Cellar by Rat. Got to pick up the vinyl copy I have as well. Got Tawny Katane on the front there. Crawling into a cellar. Uh, out of the Cellar there. So, amazing album, top to bottom. Um, as I said, for the other two albums by Rat, again, got three Rat appearances, but it's well-deserved. Those are the top two glam metal bands, like, easily, in my opinion, Dokken and Rat. But uh, this one, number one album, got freaking Robin Crosby, Warren D. Martini, one of the best duos of all time, Stephen Piercy on vocals, Juan Crocier on bass, Bobby Blotzer on the drums, fantastic, uh, Wanted Man to open it up is great, You're in Trouble, Round and Round, In Your Direction, She Wants Money, Lack of Communication, I'm Insane, always been one of my favorites, probably top three on the album, Scene of the Crime, The Morning After, top to bottom, that is a freaking, such a great album, this was actually also the first album I ever bought, um, I bought it on CD, which unfortunately I don't have that copy anymore. I lost it or something, unfortunately. Pisses me off, but yeah, great album there. So that's my number one. And I've got a lot of honorable mentions I want to go through, or really it's just other albums I have that are glam metal. I figured I might as well show them. So we're going to run through some more of my collection of glam. Got The Wildlife by Slaughter, 1992. Too Fast for Love by Motley Crue, 1981. Uh, open Up and Say Ah by Poison, which is 1988. Lita by Lita Ford, 1988 again. Um, Firehouse, this is Hold Your Fire from 1992. Steel Panther, All You Can Eat from like 2014 or it's either 2014 or 2011. I think it's 2014 or whatever it is. But Steel Panther, fun band, uh, satchel on guitars, a shredding beast. And the vocals from Michael Starr are really good too. Got War Babies, I think this one came out in 1991, or 92 actually, yeah, 91 or 92, whatever, but good, uh, solid album there. Trickster, self-titled debut from 1990. Rat, Detonator. Winger, In the Heart of the Young, 1990. So here's one, uh, Blondes, self-titled debut, I think this was their only album. This is a band from Atlanta, I think, which... It's kind of close to me. Um, not, a, I mean, this one wasn't as good as I remembered originally when I went back and re-listened to it, but pretty solid stuff there. Got Vixen, self-titled debut. Cool stuff. Sleaze Bees, Screwed, Blued, and Tattooed from 1990. All these were in consideration. Um, got some cassette tapes, some repeats, but I've got Trickster, self-titled. Flesh and Blood from 1990 by Poison. Open up and say, ah, I got a cassette tape copy of it. Crazy Nights by Kiss, which uh, I guess you can consider to be glam metal from 1987. I think that's a good album. Pretty Boy Floyd, um, Leather Boys with Electric Toys from 1989. That freaking album cover right there, dude. Glam all the way. Got uh, the Ransom self-titled debut, which is actually a really good album, I think. Close to making it. Uh, great female vocals on it. Amazing guitar playing. Came out in 1991, I think. So definitely check that out if you haven't heard it. Got Wild America by Tora Tora. Um, got no Rules by Kick Tracy. What else I got? A shit ton. Hellacious Acres by Dangerous Toys. Their second album from 1991. Um, we got Tangier. Uh, this album's called Stranded. I think this came out in 1990. Good solid stuff. Hold Your Fire. Got a cassette tape copy of it. Bang Tango, Dancing on Coals. This video's gonna be like 30 minutes long. Freaking Lita again. Big Game, White Lion. Almost through, almost through, guys. Hold on. Detonator copy of, uh, yeah, copy of Detonator on cassette tape. Firehouse. Cassette tape. Sleaze Bees cassette tape. A lot of these are freaking duplicates. But uh, Reach for the Sky. Rat. Winger in the Heart of the Young again. I don't know why I buy all this stuff on freaking multiple formats, but whatever. I collect. Roxy Blue, Want Some. 1992, I believe. Pretty cool album. 
the Britney Fox self-titled debut from 1988. Cool stuff. It's got uh, South Gang, Tainted Angel, 1991. South Gang, Group Therapy from 1992. Lord Tracy, Deaf Gods of Babylon, which this is... Um, the singer from Pantera, first three albums, Terry Glaze, his band after he got kicked out or whatever. And I got Vixen again. So that does wrap up my list and extra little collection thing there. And I think that was most of the honorable mentions. I wrote down more. What Goes Around Comes Around by uh, Tough was actually a really close one that I don't have a copy of. Uh, Land of the Dam by Diamond Rex. I got that on... Shit. We got this on vinyl, actually. I got a couple extra vinyl. This is a really cool underrated album. Good hard rock and stuff. Similar vocals to Ron Keel. Check that out. Um, I've got Smashed Gladys or Gladys, whatever, Social Intercourse. Their uh, singer actually just, just died kind of recently, I think, like within the last year or two. So RIP to her. Um, got the Rat EP from 1983. And one last thing I'm going to show here is Femme Fatale. Great vocals on here from uh, Lorraine Lewis. The band was uh, pretty good as well. I saw them uh, a couple years back, like 2015, so six years ago now. But it was just Lorraine Lewis and like a whole new band. Nobody else from the original stuff. But that now finally wraps up the list and that little uh, extra collection thing and honorable mentions. I'm sure I didn't get to everything, which I got to a lot, as you can see. But... As usual, give me your list in the comments. Let me know what you thought. And until next time, thank you for watching.